Hey YouTube, welcome back to the SDL series. Um, here, here I teach you how to use SDL, hopefully, or maybe you teach me. Depends. We'll see. So this is the first SDL tutorial, and hopefully after the last one, after seeing the demo, you want to get into the actual coding part, which is the fun part. Let me tell you. But today we're gonna do something simple, uh, just to get you started and get get you excited for some more SDL action uh, next time so we're, we're just gonna s display this uh, hello world sort of program that uh, our hello world uh, of SDL so I made a file called hello.bmp and we're just gonna uh, preview it if, if you want to see uh, so I made it in paint. It is very simple. Just just a little sort of picture with hello world. Uh, nothing complex, just a graphic, a BMP. Uh, so just opened paint and made it quickly. So we're going to learn how to load this uh, image uh, with C++, with SDL, and display it onto the screen. So the first thing we do is include uh, SDL and in my case if you just if you followed my tutorial on how to install SDL in the last series you just include SDL uh, this is a directory and then you include the header file which is just SDL.h so now we go down and we start our main function because this is pretty much our only include in this case um, we do, we don't need any any others. We're not going to be outputting anything to the console. In fact, we're not going to even have a console because we don't need it for the graphics program. So it's always good to put return zero at the end. Mm, always helps. And in the body of the program, we're going to declare two SDL surfaces. Uh, what an SDL surface is? It's basically the building block uh, of all SDL everything in. SDL in simple direct media layer. Uh, a screen is a surface. Any picture, uh, any anything that you display onto the screen is a surface. Uh, so pretty pretty much everything SDL is made up of surfaces. All of the things you'll be working with, uh, almost all of them, are surfaces. Everything that the user sees is surfaces. So we make a screen surface and we want to make a hello surface and it's always good to initialize them so just give them the value of null nothing because right now they're nothing I mean so we declared our surfaces now we want to initialize this DL sort of tell it that we're starting from here on we're gonna put SDL code and it wants to initialize the graphics rendering engine and you know all the cool stuff that goes behind the scenes that we won't learn about because that's complex and to to be truthful I don't know it either maybe at some point hopefully I'll learn it so we're using this uh, little handy function handy dandy function called SDL uh, set video mode and the set video mode sets uh, the display the output to whatever parameters you pass it. So in this case, we want a resolution of 640 by 480, and the next the next parameter is the colors, so 32-bit colors, and the last parameters if you want it in a window or if if you want uh, a special rendering, double buffering, all of those type of things. In this case, we're going to make a really simple program, so we don't want any of that. So we put um, a zero. Otherwise, we could put um, other par parameters, and perhaps in future programs, I'll show you what they do. So, we want to initialize the picture uh, that we declared up in this in this line number five. So, there is this nice handy function called SDL underscore load BMP, and you pass a name of a bitmap file. In this case, I made the bitmap file hello.bmp. So I pass this name, uh, hello.bmp, to the to the function, and the function will uh, load the bitmap into 
into my surface. Oh, and I'm sorry if this text is too small. I'm gonna uh, perhaps I should have done this a little earlier, but just in case. Uh oh, it's not good. Not good. Try again. Oh, I guess you can't. Okay, we'll turn it down a little bit because that's good. So we set the video mode. Uh, we loaded the B BMP into our surface. And now it's fairly simple from here. We use a function called SDL blit surface to display a surface, uh, to blit a surface onto another one. So, in fact, in this case, we're going to be uh, blitting hello, our hello world, onto the screen surface uh, with no additional parameters. So you have to put the nulls here uh, for it to work correctly. Uh, then we, in fact, use a function called SDL flip to dis display the screen uh, to show what we got, pretty much. And to not, if we just leave it at this, it will uh, quit automatically, and we have problems because we can't actually see the whole world. So instead of doing that, we put an SDL delay uh, and the time in milliseconds. So in this case, I'm going to put 2,000 milliseconds. Or maybe since it's a little laggy, I'll put 3,000. And now I want um, it will show for three seconds, so we can appreciate the beauty of my hello world, or hopefully your hello world once you make make one after following this tutorial. I bet your yours will be a lot more beautiful, and you can obviously play around with the text. So SDL delay of 3,000, and then we put. STL free surface. Uh, it's always good to clean up after yourself uh, rather than let the computer do it or let some guy named Bob over there in the corner do it because Bob might just have vacation or New Year's or who knows what. So free surface is a function that's provided to us that basically cleans up all of the surface. Like the surface contains data which we put into the screen and free surface just kind of clears that data and lets it go and f you have to obviously specify which surface you're clearing and at the end once we're done we just put the SDL quit so we're, we're telling SDL that we're done with it we don't want it anymore bye bye it reminds me of of that um, awesome oops we have a bit of a problem because my output is in the wrong place so we have to we have to move our viewing screen so we can see actually see the output so here's the output hello world or it displayed and it and it disappeared because we only put the delay to 3000 seconds if we increase the delay it will display for longer if we take away the delay it will just flash and you won't ever see it so Hopefully you learned how to uh, display an image onto the screen. This is uh, only covering BMP images, so your images have to be BMP, and they have to be, I'm pretty sure it's 24 bits uh, bitmap. So if your image is not, uh, is not correct, then you might have troubles. But I hope you had fun, and come back for the next tutorial, and we'll do something even more fun then, maybe some game with movement. Okay, thank you very much. It's Straylock signing off.